police are warning about the potential dangers of social media after two women were ambushed when they tried to buy a car through Facebook. They were lured to a car park and attacked by a man armed with a gun. Set up on Facebook, bashed and too scared to show their faces. I've got six stitches uh, to my forehead and then I've got some quite significant bruising on my back and you can actually see the, gun. Yeah, the, the, the gun print on it. So he's definitely used that to slam me down. So, yeah, they're lucky to be alive. 29-year-old Jess responded to a buy and sell post and turned up to purchase a car. What she got was an ambush. She was pistol whipped hit in the back with the gun, then repeatedly punched and kicked. He was saying he was going to kill me. Do you want me to kill you? Do you want me to kill you? I really think they just assumed because they knew ahead of time that we were two women. Jess and her partner Dee turned up to buy the car on Sunday in Baldivis. They had $10,000 cash on them. It was a bit suspicious only because it was literally when I'd said that we were 15 minutes away. That's when he said, can you meet us at this other location? They came face to face with two men, both aged between 23 and 29 years old. One went by the name of Pablo. He put a gun to Dee's head when he found out about the cash. Jess was forced to step in to help. I scratched at his face and tried to knock the gun away with my left hand. And as I knocked his hand down, he's then swung back and hit me with the base of the gun. Dee then ran out to Carnup Road as she was being chased by the other man. Fortunately, a car stopped to help. The couple let her inside before she begged them to call police. Police say it's another reason to be careful of social media. Ensure that you're meeting a public place. Make sure that you maybe find out some alternative ways of making payment rather than cash. And be sure of who you're selling to. Make as many inquiries as you can to make sure you know who's selling it. Scott Cunningham, Nine News.